Hello, and welcome to this episode of Creating with Hellcraft. My name is Denisha Backmore, and today I'm going to show you how to create my Ocean Pacific bracelet. The tools and supplies you will need to create this bracelet are crimping pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, chain nose pliers, 49 strand beadalon 0.46 millimeter beading wire, size two crimp tubes, wire guardian, guardians or um, I'll be using French wire today. And then a assortment of beads and charms and a tassel from howcraftcollection.com. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found on howcraftcollection.com. Search Ocean Pacific Bracelet. Today we're gonna to be crimping this bracelet, so let's talk just a second about beading wire. Um, Beadalon on the package will show the size crimp bead or crimp tube that you will need for this wire. So this is 0 0.46 millimeters. We're gonna be using crimp tubes today, so we're gonna use a size two crimp tube. We're gonna start off by cutting an 11 inch length of beading wire. Since these beads are rather large, we need to have a little bit extra wire to pass our wire back through and form our crimps. So we're gonna string the size two crimp bead. And then we're gonna grab our length of French wire. Oops, let's flip that over. We're gonna slide that onto the strand. And then we're gonna come back over. I like to bend the French wire a little bit. And then we're gonna slide the crimp bead up. So it looks like that. Now let's talk about where your wire should be positioned. Right now, if you look, the wire is crossed. You never want your wire crossed, so we're gonna move it back over to the other side. And we're gonna grab our crimping pliers and we're gonna place it in the second hole. So it's right there in the second hole. And we are just gonna press down. And you can see right there, it created a fold. So now we're gonna to go to the first hole on the crimping pliers. We set it in and we crimp and you can see the crimp has completely folded onto itself you can come back in with the little head press it down a little bit to make sure let me hold it make sure it's nice and snug now we're going to attach a crimp bead or a crimp cover to our crimp. So I like to use my crimping pliers because the bead doesn't go flying out because of these little grooves in the crimping pliers. So we're just going to put that right in there and then we're going to press it down. And then I like to come back in and just kind of reshape it a little bit with my pliers. So 
So there we have our little um, crimp cover. Now we're ready to start stringing our beads. So we're gonna start out with a four millimeter silver spacer. And I'm bringing that down and passing it over the wire. And then a blue glaze on white ceramic nugget. And I am passing that down, going over the wire. If it's sticking out just a little bit, you can come back in with your wire cutters and you would just trim off that little end. A four millimeter spacer bead, a purple on brown glaze ceramic nugget, four millimeter spacer bead, purple on brown glaze ceramic nugget, our four millimeter spacer bead, purple on brown glaze ceramic nugget, spacer bead, purple on brown glaze ceramic nugget, spacer bead, purple on brown glaze ceramic nugget, spacer bead, our blue glaze on white ceramic nautilus, spacer bead, and our, our blue glaze on white ceramic starfish, and then our spacer bead. Now we're gonna string our size two crimp tube, and then we're going to pick up our French wire. We're gonna string that through, and we're gonna bend it just a tad. We're gonna come through that first bead. Move it that way. And then we're gonna start to move the wire down. So let's move it down a little bit. Bring the crimp tube down. Come back in, pull our wire, making sure Everything is nice and tight. We're pulling it down. Let's look. Oh, we still have a little bit of a gap. So now we are ready to crimp. So let's move that wire, making sure it's on the right side. And then we're grabbing our crimping pliers. We're going into the second hole. We're gonna press it down so it forms a little groove. We're gonna come back in in the first hole. And then we're just going to, whoops, Press that down so it folded over on each other. And then you can come back in with your chain nose pliers. Squish it down to make sure it's nice and tight. So now we're gonna come in and trim off this little end. If the wire was a little longer, I would pass it through the starfish, but we like to save our beading wire. So here is 
the first part or the first leg of the bracelet completed. So let's pick up our crimp bead or our crimp cover. Picked it up using our crimping pliers and we're just gonna move it in and we are going to close. Then you come back over on this side, press a little bit, it's a little open. So let's flip it around and just close the crimp cover over the crimp. We are now gonna connect the lobster clasp. So we're gonna grab a four millimeter jump ring. This is how you open and close the jump ring. You never pull it apart. So we're just gonna open that jump ring grab our lobster clasp and the clasp is on the starfish side. We're just gonna pass it through and close the ring. Now we are going to attach our 10 millimeter jump ring to the other side. Once again, we're opening it. Pass it, grab it, and close that ring. Now we're going to attach our charms in between these two little beads. So let's get this nice and straight there. These can be a little tricky. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to close the jump ring on that side. Coming over to the other side, we'll pick up the ship's wheel silver plated charms. Howcraft has an amazing selection of charms and connectors on the website. So we're going to come in, grab it there. Come back in, grab it, and close the jump ring. So now we have the two little charms attached. Now we're going to attach our tassel using a four millimeter jump ring. And we're just going to grab that right there. And I'm going to attach it right here on the four millimeter jump ring next to the lobster clasp. And we're just going to close that. We are now ready to start making our little dangles. To create our dangles, we need head pins. I'm using beaded hemp head pins for today. And we are doing simple loops today. So we are going to string our check glass fire polish crystal with light blue. And we are just gonna bend that wire down. And then we're gonna come in. We're gonna trim that end. And let's form our simple loop. We are just rolling the wire towards us. And we're going to attach, we're gonna open it. It's open just like a jump ring. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna attach it right on the French wire. We're gonna close that jump ring. Now we're gonna pick up another beaded head pin and we're going to string a 10 millimeter 
check glass, sapphire with white luster. We're gonna trim that in. And we are just going to roll the wire towards us. And we're gonna open that loop and we're gonna attach it on the same end. Come back in, close the loop. So we're gonna put another one on this side. So once again, we're gonna string the check glass 10 millimeter sapphire with white. We're gonna trim that in. We grabbed our round nose pliers and we're just rolling the wire towards us. We're gonna open that in, come over to the other side. Oops, I didn't open it enough. Attached it, and then we're going to close that loop. Now, one more dangle. We are going to string the six millimeter lapis and a scalloped silver bead. We're going to bend that wire down. We're gonna cut that end. We're grabbing our round nose pliers. We are going to roll the wire towards us. And we're going to open this end. I'm gonna put that end on the 10 millimeter jump ring. We're gonna grab that and we're just gonna close that loop. And there you have it, how to create my Ocean Pacific bracelet. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Howcraft USA. Hit the little bell so you'll receive notifications on when we post new video. Be sure to visit howcraftcollection.com for more inspirational DIY projects and all your jewelry making needs. Each week, howcraftcollection.com adds new beads with a fabulous sale. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.